The American Dragon will not have his wings clipped tonight in England, London, as he defeated Swerve Strickland. He swerved multiple injuries and went on to choke it. Swerve with the label lock, or whatever this new variation of the crossface is called. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling Main Event All In Wembley, London. And for me, it was, I mean, it was all right to see Daniel Bryanson win a title, but the match itself, I just feel like you get the same old kind of shite. Big move, big move, big move. Oh, that's a dangerous move. That could have been the one. Dangerous move, dangerous move. The whole point of the match is, wow, that's a dangerous move. Can Brian Danielson recover for that one? Is Daniel Bryanson injured for that one? Is Brian Danielson going to be able to finish the match because of that move? It just seems to be, oh, how many mo how many moves can we perform that look dangerous to the point where you think the match is stopped? It's like, it's like I, I actually don't get this because, like, the, the wrestling, you're supposed to win your match. You're not supposed to injure your opponent, at least not in a normal match. Maybe if it's like a disqualification, no disqualification, or no holes barred, or, a, you know, a stipulation match, all right? As for this match, you're right. You, you've seen it about 10 times already tonight. Is Daniel Bryan winning with blood trickling down his face and saving his career for one more title, world title run, a good moment? Is that the correct way to end the show? Absolutely. I thought the, I thought the final five minutes was pretty much booked perfectly in terms of what you could have done with these guys. But you're right, the match itself, it's just, it's a bit meh. It's a good way to end a pay-per-view, though. No, it definitely is a good way to end a pay-per-view. Great moment for Brian Danielson, had his family with him, had the Blackpool Combat Club with him. You know, that stuff was good. Match itself, I mean, wasn't great. Adam Page got in there as well and followed, and just don't think it was really necessary for him to get in there. Like, should have just been between Brian and Swerve Strickland in the end. I mean, at one point, Swerve Strickland completely no-sold the Danielson running knee like he was a great Cali. But then Danielson landed the next one and it, and it, it took him out, you know, it's just, just a bit strange there. I mean, it wasn't a bad match, like, but, you know, just, it was just kind of there, you know, it was like, eh, meh. And that's how I felt about the whole pay per eh, meh. I mean, was it a horrible pay per No, but was it good? Did I enjoy it? No. It's just... Every match you see is pretty much just, I actually, my best, my favourite match is probably the casino one. But the ending was fucking awful, so I'm tempted to go with a different one. Well, Christian, why I thought you'd enjoyed that. Aye. But Luchasaurus? Yeah. I mean, I thought, yeah, I thought that match was full of surprises, and I'm not a ricochet mark, I don't care, I don't even know who Zack Sabre Jr. is, to be honest, and, you know, but seeing Jeff Jarrett and Christian out there, got a cheap pop for me, but here, I didn't really watch SummerSlam, but was it better than SummerSlam? Just as good? It's fucking better than Bash at Berlin, I'll tell yeah, you. Ah, SummerSlam was better than this. So it was better than Bash at Berlin. I haven't seen Bash at Berlin yet. I bet it will be. It might be, who knows, we'll, we'll wait and see, but that, nah, SummerSlam was better than all in, I think. What did you rate SummerSlam? 5 out of 10. Oh, fucking 5 out of 10? Anyway, guys, go you watch it. we'll be back for the review. Brian Danielson's your brand new AW World Champion.